Hey guys, what's up? Um, Tim 3D on deck. Me and Hunza were just, uh, that was mad quick, Tim 3D on deck. <laughs> yeah, me and Hunza were just talking about fat burning and stuff like that. And I figured, you know what, we'll, you know, let's make a video about this. Uh, how, do you, how do you know when you're burning fat? Well, obviously you don't have a fucking life ball like in video games where you can see fat, glycogen, burning, whatever. So you got to use, you know, different strategies. Well, think about it. How do you know you're burning fat? When your heart rate is up. That's one sign. For example, when you're doing cardio, it's called cardio for a reason. Cardiovascular, your heart beats a little faster, you burn fat. If you're doing HIIT, then you're burning glycogen. I mean, your body's always going to burn those three things. It's just the, the percentage The percentages change. When you're doing cardio, you're burning mainly fat, 85 to 90% fat. The more you increase the intensity, the more your body burns more glycogen because it's the, it's the um, energy stores for quick activities. When your body needs energy really quickly, it goes to glycogen. Slow activities like walking and and um, mild biking is fat. But anyway, you could tell whether you're burning fat or glycogen based on how fast your heart is beating. If your heart is beating really, really fast, like you know, in HRT, you're burning a lot of you know a lot of glycogen more than fat. Now, the good thing is, like we mentioned before, you do HRT in the morning, right? Now, even though you're burning glycogen for that 15-minute session, the good thing about HRT is the afterburn effect, meaning. If your heart rate is supposed to be 60 beats per minute, and you do HRT and you shoot it up to like 120, I'm just giving out numbers, right? I'm just making up numbers. You shoot it up to like 120. Even after your HRT session, your heart rate does not go back down to 60. You know, it's going to go back down to like somewhere in the middle, you know, maybe 90, maybe 80, whatever, as the day goes on. So that's the benefit of HRT. You're not burning a lot of fat while you're doing it, but you're burning a lot of fat post HRT because your heart rate is it's still pretty high. Uh, so. Like I say, check your heart rate. That's how you know you're burning fat or not. So right now, as you're watching this video, check your heart rate, right? Have a friend hold a stopwatch, or you could just use one yourself. And um, check your pulse. Like, I don't have a pulse here. I think like, like so I'm telling the hands I'm fucking dead, so I don't have a pulse here. Uh, actually, I do have one. It's just hard to find. Or maybe I'm dead. I'll check the one on, uh, I'll check the one on your, on this shit right here, right? And... Check for six seconds. How many times do you feel the pulse in six seconds? Whatever then, whatever number you get, you can multiply that by ten. You know, I'm not gonna get into the mathematics because you know there's you know, six seconds times ten equals sixty seconds equals one minute. So anyway, check for six seconds, right? Whatever number you get multiplied by ten, that will give you an, not an accurate but an an approximate figure for how fast your heart rate, you know, your heart beats per minute. Or if you want a more accurate reading, you could hold it for 10 seconds, you know, and see how many times you feel the pulse in 10 seconds. I'll tell you, I'll tell you how many times your heart pumps in 10 seconds, and you multiply that number by six because there's six 10-second, you know, parts in um, in a minute. So anyway, try that, you know, and it'll tell you what your heart rate is at the moment, right? Now, to know if you're burning fat, obviously you gotta check every day to see if your heart rate is increasing, your resting heart rate. You know, obviously you don't want to check your shit when you're doing an activity because it's always gonna be hot. You wanna check it in the morning. The best time to check it is in the morning or right before you go to bed. But I would say the morning. So check it. And as the days go on, keep checking. See if it you know, if it, if your heart beats faster, you're burning fat. Like I said, it has to burn fast. I mean your your heart has to um, beat faster when you're resting. To know that you're burning fat throughout the day, right? When you're resting, you're resting heart rate. So do it first thing in the morning. That's the sign that you're burning fat. But if you notice, for example, me, uh, it's about 60, 60 beats per minute, right? My heart fucking pumps and fucking ejaculates blood uh, 60 times per minute. Hundreds of shit is fucking 90. But you gotta remember, the more muscle you have, this motherfucker is 200 pounds. He's like 9% body fat, right? So the more muscle you have, the faster your heart beats when you are when you resting. You, you have, have to chill. You have, you to, have chill. to chill. You fucking ordain. I hate big motherfuckers. So the, the the more muscle you have, the more fat your body burns when you are rest. You know, so that's a, you know that's the benefit of having a lot of muscle mass. On you. So guys, you know, try it out. Find out what your your resting heart rate is and check it every you know every morning. See if it's going up or down. If it's going down, you're not you're not fucking burning fat, right? And if you see that it's increasing, it's a sign that you. You know, your metabolism is speeding up and you're burning more fat. Alright, that's it. Um, right. Anything you want to say, man? I love her. I also want to, you guys to know that he loves y'all. I don't know if he means that shit, but... It's your dog. See how you don't be chilling? He's trying to dick tie me right now. Alright, guys. Team 3D. Over and fucking out.